This is the Ultimate Ears Wonder Boom 4, and I've been wanting to test this speaker for quite some time. If you have seen my videos before, you know how I feel about unlabeled buttons. <sighs> all right, all right, it's not as bad as it might seem. The lanyard serves as a reference point, and the buttons are different sizes and shapes, so it actually is pretty easy to learn what they mean. This top one here is to switch your Bluetooth source. The middle one is play, pause, and skip to the next track. And the bottom one here is the power button. Notice I didn't say anything about going to the previous track. You cannot do that with this speaker. You'll, sure, you could go to the source of your music and use the previous function of that, but you can't do that from the speaker controls. Plus and minus, perfect single function volume buttons. I like that. And on the bottom, there's a little hidden button. And this is kind of like an equalizer. There is normal mode, which you'll probably want to use the most. There is an outdoor mode, which emphasizes the higher frequencies at the cost of sound quality. And there is a podcast mode, which emphasizes the vocal frequencies. The Wonder Boom 4 is actually fairly small. It's about four inches in any direction and with the rounded corners, of course. This speaker sounds really, really good depending upon what you're listening to and how loud you're listening to it. For my bass torture test, I could only bring it up to about 30, 35% volume before those cones started complaining. And my high frequency test, I could bring it up to about 70% volume before I started getting that unpleasant distortion. However, for most music that sounds fantastic at 70% volume, I wouldn't go above that. 50% is even better. I'm, it's not always how loud it's going to be. If you keep this, <laughs> if you work with this speaker, you are going to get a fantastic experience. But you cannot overdrive it or it's just nobody's going to be happy. This hidden button equalizer thing, I would only recommend using normal mode. Yes, I see what they're trying to do. You're outdoors, you're in a wide open space. Bass is a challenge, but that doesn't mean jack up the treble and hope for the best. That just, it doesn't sound good. And even with the podcast mode, I see what you're trying to do. And it's a nice thought, but the human voice does have a wide variety of frequencies and I want to hear them all. So just my recommendation, put it on normal and never touch it. As you can see, the speaker is now wet and that is because it claimed to be IP67 waterproof and I can certify that it is. IP67 means it can be submerged in water at a depth of three feet for up to 30 minutes. And that's what I do. I put it in the sink test. It's not exactly three feet, but you get the point. And it played flawlessly for 30 minutes while underwater. I pulled it out of the water. All the buttons still worked. I was satisfied that it is waterproof. Underneath this panel, you will find the USB-C charging port. I do recommend that you let the speaker dry off before you charge it, just as a general guideline. You can expect 14 hours of battery life, and I think that's especially true if you use it how I recommend, the sweet spot being half to three quarter volume. I sincerely hope I did not scare you away with my bass torture test. Most songs do not use those low, low, low frequencies. Most songs sound fantastic on this speaker. And don't let it worry you that I'm encouraging you to keep it at three quarter volume or less. That's true of most speakers. And this sounds plenty loud at three quarter volume. This is a great speaker to bring on a canoeing trip, on a camping trip, anywhere where you might be near water and you want something small and light to take with you. This sounds fantastic. This is the speaker you want to bring with you for, say, six people or less. Sure, if you're trying to entertain 60 people, this might not be enough, but a small group, perfect. I mean, seriously, this sounds great. I'm going to give this a five out of five star rating. This convinced me that you don't need to label your buttons to be a great speaker experience. Thanks for stopping by.